Hey, Connor here with another review. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about this. Not Animal Man. The Dust Jacket. Dust jackets, also known as book jackets or dust covers, are a staple in the realm of hardcover books, be they novels, children's books, comics, or any other form of literature. When books were sold as pages without binding, owners would keep these pages together in jackets they made from many different materials, such as leather and wallpaper. The first dust jacket emerged in 1829, and jackets in these days covered the entire book and were discarded after the book was opened like gift wrap. Today, we know them as the thin cardstock wrapped around first edition of new releases. So how do I feel about these fixtures of literature? To be honest, I don't really like them. I think they look good on a bookshelf, and I like to use the folded tabs to substitute for a bookmark, but typically, that's all I get out of these. There are exceptions, of course, like the Death of the Family hardcover from DC, but most of the time, I find the reading experience would be better without them. Dust jackets are obsolete, and I don't find them very functional. I take the jacket off before I read every time. What's bad is the looming alarm in my head to know where it is at all times, keeping me from being sucked into the narrative. What's worse is losing the thing, hoping it doesn't get damaged by an oblivious animal, and worst of all is when you forget where you set it down and you end up ripping or creasing the thing. They're also very slippery, and I cannot tell you how many times I've dropped the book inside because I wasn't holding the jacket tight enough. One more thing. I find it very redundant that most books will have a synopsis on the back cover and a different synopsis, often called a blurb, on the inner fold. What's the point? When I have a choice, I choose standard hardcover, heck, even paperback. 